Microsoft GI would like to thank our sponsors. Hi GI TV, I'm Bob the Axeman Hildebrand here with another episode of Tactical Gearheads. Now, in this episode, I again went through the GI inventory slash giant warehouse and decided to build a loadout based on something that I had really never done before. Uh, so that said, I started out with a KWA MP7 because I don't personally own one. I own a KMP9, but I've always wanted one of these and I also don't have Blue Force Gear chest rig. It's a really cool chest rig. I actually kind of want really badly because it is so lightweight and allows me to carry more MP7 mags than I normally would in a CQB game. I normally can get away with running between three to four and I'll be fine and have rounds left over. But if they are turnaround games like, you know, two games back to back or an extended game like a respawn game, I run the risk of running out of ammo. So with five mags on my chest and one magazine in my gun, I am guaranteed that I will make it through this round as long as I'm not just on full auto going, ah! Otherwise, if I'm, if I'm not doing that, I will be fine. Uh, now that said, I've got a Condor double bungee sling on here. I like that because it will allow me to transition to pistols a lot easier than I just would without a, without a sling. It'd be a lot more difficult without that. And as you can probably tell, I am wearing two pistols on my belt. Now I've got a Condor riggers belt right here, and attached to that, I've got two different Serpa holsters. I've got a right-handed uh, Serpa holster, a Serpa CQC holster for the SIG 228-229. Uh, now in here, I actually have a KJW SIG 226. Uh, that's because this is the pistol that Mark had on his desk and I really like it because uh, well it's KGW but he's also stippled the grip which is actually really cool and the only difference between uh, you know using a 228 in this holster and a 226 is that the 226 will just stick out a tiny bit more and while it may look a little weird it functions just the same which is why I picked it on my left side I've got a Serpa CQC holster meant for ATPs or Glock 17s uh, and so on and it actually like I said it'll fit the ATP but in here I've also got uh, Tim's KSC G18C. So as you can see, it'll fit the G series, which is pretty awesome. Whenever I'm uh, double-handing pistols, I usually take my ATP as the left pistol. Uh, I don't know why I do that. I just that's just out of happenstance. That's what I've always done. Um, now that said, it's actually pretty easy to access these pistols with the Serpa holsters. Um, I recently started doing double pistol again uh, over at Tax City South, and while it may not be the most accurate way to shoot uh, or the most tactical, it is really fun. So you know, this is definitely not a Milsim. This is definitely not a Milsim loadout. This loadout is based just purely on having a good time. I obviously have my submachine gun, which I can rock and roll in full auto or pick my shots in semi. If I just want to go crazy, balls the walls, freedom run, I've got got my two pistols. Now, I only have one magazine for these each. It's something I've been doing for a little while where instead of buying more mags for one pistol, I just buy another pistol. So when I run out of ammo, put the pistol away, transition to the next one. Again, not the most tactical, but definitely pretty fun for me because I like being able to switch back and forth between my Elite Force 1911 and my KWA ATP. Pretty awesome. Now on my person, I'm wearing proper ATAX BDUs. I've also got the GI, GI patch, PVC patch. I've also got the GI arm to the teeth shark patch. Pretty awesome. Now, you might be curious what pants I'm wearing. These are actually Condor Stealth Operator pants. They're very comfortable. They have some bungee on the side, um, and they've definitely got an absurd amount of pockets, and I am a huge fan of that. Uh, now, next up, I'm wearing these Mechanics Impact 2012 gloves. I've been using them for almost a year, and I have zero complaints. I am a huge fan of these gloves. I've been uh, basically using them from indoor play to outdoor play to dust to dirt to mud to everything else, and I haven't had any problems. Uh, my roommate Josh doesn't like how they smell, but that's really just kind of a personal problem, not washing them enough. So for head protection, I started off with a Lancer Tactical MH Type custom fast helmet. It's also got a navy seal slash dark earth paint job, which I think looks really cool. Uh, for iPro, I'm actually using Smith Optics Low Pro Regulator Goggles in Multicam. Uh, they're pretty cool. They're actually very similar to Smith, Bo Smith Boogie Regulators in that they have this really cool vent system that helps ventilate the goggles, especially when you're moving. Um, now on this helmet, I'm wearing also a Lancer Tactical helmet mounted strobe light. It's actually, the color is red. And I got that so that instead of pulling out a dead rag when I get shot, I can just click this on and people will know immediately that I'm dead and I will still look tactical, I hope. 
Uh, now on one side, I've also got a Lancer Tactical modular helmet lighting system in green and infrared. Now another thing I have on my person is the Condor Outdoor Molly Roll-Up Utility Pouch. I basically put this on there uh, so that I could have a dump pouch on my person, but one that would also not take up very much space in case I needed to roll it up to get through a really tight crevice. But last but, last but most importantly, I'm actually sporting Under Armour Tactical Valsets boots. I actually just got a pair of them a couple months ago and I gotta tell you they are some of the most comfortable boots I have ever worn. My roommate Josh Predator number one actually describes them as walking on clouds of awesomeness and our head tech Frank wears these Under Armour tactical Valsets boots just for work. They're so comfortable he wears them almost darn near every day just to work. So I got him to play airsoft in and I could not have been happier with my purchase. So I highly suggest you check out those Under Armour tactical Valsets boots. Well, I'm Bob the Axeman Hildebrand, and this is my CQB minimalist rig using the KWA MP7, the KJW SIG 226, and, well, this is Tim's G18C. Uh, I highly suggest you check out these Serpa holsters. I've got a Serpa holster for the ATP left-handed, and I've got a Serpa holster for the SIG 228-229 right-handed. So, that said, I'm Bob the Axeman Hildebrand, and this, well, this is GITV. Hi GITV, Bob the Axeman Hildebrand here. I'm standing in our tech department and I'm holding our FMG 418. Now, a lot of folks at our summer sale and folks online were asking when our FMG 4s were coming back in stock. And I can tell you without further ado, they just came in Monday and these are our techs hard at work making the custom versions of our FMG 4s. Now, if you have been waiting for these, I highly suggest you go on airsoftgi.com and take a look at our full line because I dare say we'll have something to suit your needs. Airsoft GI would like to thank our sponsors.